Hey there, welcome back. This is part 16 of my WebDriver IO tutorial series. To check out my previous videos in this series, make sure to click on the card above or click on the link in the description below. So this one's going to be a short video guys. We will take a look at how we can take screenshot when a test fails and attach it to our earlier reports. Obviously having a screenshot is really helpful as we can easily see the state of our test when it fails and which will make our debugging test much easier. So let's take a look at how we can do that. Okay, so I'm going to scroll all the way at the bottom and if you notice here, they have this nice instructions on how to add screenshot in a layer report. So we're going to take advantage of the browser.take screenshot function and attach it to our after test hook. So let's do that. I'm back in VS Code and what we're going to do now is go over to a configuration file and over here search for hooks. So I have hooks here and we looked at hooks in one of our previous videos. If I scroll down. So what we did in our previous video was we were maximizing our window before our test. So similarly what we're going to do is go to our after test hook which is over here. Oops, where is it? Here. And I'm going to uncomment that. And then what we're going to do is just add that browser.take screenshot command. And then I'm going to run this. Okay, so our test ran and they both passed. And what I'm gonna do is generate our report using alir generate, pass in our folder, and then do alir open to open a report. Okay, so if I go to our eBay product search, this is what we ran just now. And if I click on the first test here, on the right, if you notice on the test body, we have at the very bottom, session ID slash screenshot. So if I click on that, there you go. We have a screenshot here for our test, which we just ran. And if I do the same thing for the other ones, let's say this is the next step. And if I click on that, we have a different page here. So same thing if I actually go here and we actually have whatever the next test we were doing, it's the same page, but a different search category, which we are looking for. Okay, so this way we can actually take screenshot for each of our tests and kind of attach it here. So if this is something you want to do, you can totally go ahead and do that by just adding browser.take screenshot and uh, add it to a after test. So however, in most common scenarios, you will see that you will take a screenshot when a test will fail. So to do that, all you have to do is in this scenario, what you can do, take a look at is in our after test, we have this error, which means if there's an error when running the test, then only we want it to take screenshot. So we can add that condition here. So we'll say if error and then just say do this. So whenever you're running test and if there's an error, then it will take a screenshot. In the other cases, it won't take a screenshot. So let's run this and see if it works. Uh, before we do that, we have to fail our test. So what I can do is maybe over here, instead of passing the, this, I can just pass, I don't know, test. And now let's run our test. Okay, so our test failed as expected, and I'm just going to generate our reports now. Okay, so if we click on product defects here, which is the test that failed, and if I click on the first one, so it should show the banner title. Oops, actually that's not the one we would want to look at. So let me go back to overview, click on our product search, and these are the two tests that failed. I'm going to click on this, and if I scroll at the bottom, so you see we have this test which we were expecting and instead we got laptop and eBay. And if I click on the session ID with the very bottom um, response here, I have the screenshot. And I can obviously click on this to take a look at what we were expecting and what we got instead, which is you're expecting laptop and eBay for our title, instead we got test. However, if I go to the other test, so if I click here, this time we don't see that screenshot. So same way we don't see it for the other ones too. And that's only because for, for the tests that are failing, we are seeing that screenshots for those ones. And you can see this in both Firefox as well as Chrome. Okay, so that's all you need to attach screenshot to the earlier reports. So in our next video, we will take a look at how to run test in browser stack. Okay, right, so if this video helped you out, please give it a like and also make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more content like this. That's it for this video, folks. I will see you in the next one.